The anterior cruciate, unfortunately, is one of those structures in your body that doesn't heal. And once it's gone, it's gone. Trying to repair it doesn't work, so we have to make a new one. Effectively, there are three choices. Uh, you can use a bit of man-made ligament. You can use a, a bit of uh, someone else, a bit of donated ligament. Or you can use a bit of your own tissue. Now, we quite strongly believe, as most patients would prefer, to use their own tissue. Uh, it seems to work well. It st stands the test of time very nicely. Um, uh, and we know it has a good track record. Nine times out of ten in this country, we use autograph, which means your own. And that's safe, um, inexpensive, um, easy to harvest. And the two main grafts that we use are the middle third of the patella tendon with a little bit of bone, um, a little bit of, of bone at the, at the top. So we would strip out the middle third of this tendon, taking a small segment of bone from here and a small segment of bone from there. And that's called a bone tendon bone or BTB graft. As you can see on this MRI scan, that's this black structure running down here. Now, that is the so-called gold standard. It was the one that was done first and most successfully and by which most other techniques are judged. It still works exceedingly well. It has some drawbacks and the drawbacks are that you tend to have a scar down the front of the knee that is uncomfortable to knee, can be uncomfortable to kneel on, affects about 10% of patients. The area at the front of the knee can develop the tendonitis where we've taken the tendon, you get inflammation around the tendon which can be uncomfortable. Um, and if you're in a kneeling job, we would often say we would rather you didn't do that. We are moving on, as many hospitals are, uh, to doing what we call anatomical ACL reconstruction, putting the ligament back where it's really come from. And doing that with a patella tendon graft is technically a challenge. Uh, I have done lots of them, it does work, but it's not a particularly easy operation in comparison to the other choice. Now the other choice is to borrow two of your hamstring tendons from the back of your thigh. And they're taken through a small incision which is made externally here and a small little stripping device is then passed up and very ingeniously allows you to take the full length of the tendon through a very small incision with little morbidity to the patient. And we can either use one or both of the hamstring tendons on the inside as our hamstring graft. You're not taking out the whole muscle, you're taking out the bit of string that's attached to the muscle. And the muscle sticks itself to the other muscles and uses their tendons. And they will, it is true, in the first few weeks after the operation, you can measure and probably feel a slight difference in weakness. By six months, and certainly by 12 months, you won't feel anything, and we would have a real difficulty measuring a difference. There are plenty of Premier Division footballers, first-class uh, 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 sportsmen, who've gone back to full achievement of their sport, having either patella tendons or hamstring tendons done. So that's autographed. And then there's allograft, which is tissue from someone else that is harvested, um, treated, cleaned and prepared. And you can pick that allograft as you see that you need. So it can be for the MCL, we would use a, a sheet-like graft. For the ACL, we tend to use cord-like grafts. And we can literally pick out what we need and then get the right graft for the right patient. But that is expensive and we tend to use allograft in this country for when lots of ligaments have been ruptured or what we call multi-ligament reconstructions. There are different ways to do an anterior crucial ligament reconstruction. Over 20 years ago, one couldn't do them at all, and people did big operations on the outside of the knee to try and lash it together, and they worked, but not as well as now. All anatomical means is you put it in the right place. One might think that's easy, and that we've always put it in the right place, but actually, historically, certainly 15, 20 years ago, we didn't quite put it in the right place, because the surgical technique makes that difficult and it was actually put on the thigh bone slightly out of the real footprint. They still worked very well, but obviously one strives for perfection. And over the last few years, surgeons around the world are trying to look all the time to improve things. So what anatomical means, is, is, is a, in terms of ACL reconstruction, anatomical means trying to put it where it came from. And there are various ways of doing that. But here at the Hampshire Hospitals, we all do a slightly different technique, but we're all aiming at an anatomical reconstruction of your if you'd like more information about ACL reconstruction at Hampshire Hospitals, you can download the ACL Surgery Booklet from the Resources section of the website.